Eric. Now you should be able to hear me. Okay. You do have this kind of angelic glow from the window behind you. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's been a problem all day. <laughs> Although in my first couple of meetings, it was looked like I was in the witness protection program all morning. Oh yeah, and it's like it like blurred location. me out. So. <laughs> Um, so the spreadsheet that was included in the agenda doesn't have the, the district, the city, like document ID. And I found that really helpful as I was, as I was going through them. So I knew which ones I had already looked at, but this one doesn't. So is there any way we can get that back? Are you referring to the like RD2022, yeah. that kind of thing? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we we can add that back in. We were focusing on the the short list of okay. the like eleven maps that have been talked about. Yeah, and that's but fine. If that's helpful to you, we can add it back in. It'll just we won't have it tonight. It'll just take a little time. Okay, what was the conversation about? Sorry, I a minute or too late. Um, the on the and the spreadsheet that just got sent out with all the update with all the new maps and everything like that it doesn't include the the city document id so like i had gone through be, after last week's meeting i had literally gone through every map that had been submitted but going through every you know agenda and pulling them down and looking at them and i had like eliminated all the duplicates and and eliminated all the ones that were like garbage maps that you know that nobody had done anything with um like they were literally like existing council members or they were blank or you know like they had put 10,000 people in one district and you know 85,000 people in another you know so <laughs> um so i had gotten it down to 18 maps that i sort of looked at out of the 90 plus but now i don't know which of the 174 that are on this list are the 90 plus that i already looked at so i can like you know uh, yeah, I have I have a list from from that and same thing. I, it's hard because you can't do much of like collection starring, like doing any of that with trying to collate your thoughts except except an Excel spreadsheet. I I have nine <laughs> out of all those. So I see four commissioners. We just need one more to get a quorum. Okay. And then of course, Neil is not able to join us, but right. he did send his, uh, his votes on the 11 maps in the unfinished business section and his rationale for each one. And then I, I forwarded his thoughts to the rest of the commissioners. So everybody has that information. Cool. Do you know people choose to work out and feel the way that I feel right now? Like people choose to feel this way. Why do you do this? Why do people do this? <laughs> I went to the gym before this and I'm like, I hurt so bad. And I'm like, people enjoy this. Why do you enjoy this? <laughs> what was the email that had the hundred and something odd ones that you Oh, guys... it's in the agenda. It's in this week's agenda. Oh, it's from April 6th? Yeah. Got it. Yeah, I looked at it. I did okay. Good. I just want to make sure I didn't miss that one if you guys had sent like yeah. <laughs> so I am gonna I'm gonna try something here real quick. Can so, I put myself on the agenda for tomorrow to go over the nine that I have and kind of talk through them? 
Um, or you can do that. I mean, that's kind of what we had planned to do tonight. I think. Oh, good, good. Then I, yeah. we can talk about those. I have them. I also want to add, you might notice in the, the spreadsheet of all the maps on the far left side, we numbered each of the rows. So yeah. that's one reference option, you know, map on row 28 or whatever. Right. But there were like 50, um, you know, there were like 50 maps that were unusable. Yeah. So. There, there, there were a ton. There was one that I really liked, um, but for some reason, when I copied it and tried to like move it around, I couldn't get the, the, the district not to be non-contiguous. And I don't know why. Um, I tried to fix it. That's Probably a uh, there's probably a little sliver somewhere. <laughs> Always is that's right as, as part of a of a, a tract that's like little tiny sliver somewhere. Yeah, this okay. Yeah, I see this spreadsheet. Is there a way to ever send these as an actual spreadsheet so I can like write notes next to them and stuff like that? Are you saying a, a hard copy or the Excel file? The Excel, the actual Excel instead of like an actual like PDF. Because yep. some of the things I would do is like I would get rid of the ones that I've already checked. I would keep a running map and pivot on like or running Excel based on like what I've already looked like. Cause just like Eric, I've spent an inordinate amount of time going through each of the maps that I could find that have been submitted and then being like need to look at later, need not to, and then I have like columns and whatnot. So. Yeah, we can send you the Excel file. Um, yeah, yeah. The whole, <laughs> the whole kit and caboodle from the very beginning to now, of everything you guys have, then I can put it against mine. And we do have a quorum now. Yay. So we have five commissioners. We know Neil won't be able to join us. And then uh, Daniel Cairo said that he would be joining a little bit late, closer to six o'clock. Uh, and then I, I haven't heard from Elizabeth Mori for District 7. I'm not sure if she's planning to join. Okay. And we know Ann Cannon is planning to join um we're reaching out to see if he needs a little technical assistance where did all my spreadsheets go i had all these spreadsheets and now i can't find any of them yeah if anybody wants the the my top nine list in my excel spreadsheet you could just put your email in the chat and I can send it so you know. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Well then, never mind. Why can we not do that? I was seeing someone shake their head, so I was like, oh. The chat goes directly to Taylor, the host, and not to all oh. of us. So oh, that's right. Um, yeah, so it just <laughs> doesn't do work. <laughs> All right, I think. I wanted to say that I spent a lot of time trying to, um, in the last meeting, Eric Lopez, that you were not able to join. I was talking a lot about keeping communities of interest on the West side together, but it just like, it's the boundaries that make sense. Like it doesn't end up being a map that is um, submittable. So I spent a lot of time and I just couldn't ever get anything that I felt was any better than what's already been created. And so that's why I haven't submitted um, a map because, yeah. There, yeah, I have all nine of these pulled up. And as I like moved through them, there were like these small variances here. There's one really radical map that uh, Neil did that I absolutely love. But I know uh, 
I, I don't know how the city council would take. <laughs> but it is, it's, it's a really great map. The boundaries are really nice. It's succinct. It's compactness is really high up there. I think it has two or 11 like split blocks and it like makes sense based on like population split and the deviance between all the, the, the districts is very, very minimal, like less than a hundred per district. And I was like, that's pretty sharp. So, and instead of like, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of the maps go horizontal. This one goes vertical in it's districting. And I was, I was really impressed. It tickled my fancy. Very aesthetically pleasing. We have everyone. I think we can get started, right? That's that's on you, Mr. Lopez. Yeah. Thank you for taking <laughs> taking last time. Okay. Good. 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 Let's go ahead and start and. Um, Call to order, gavel, gavel, gavel. And then um, public comments. I don't know if there's any any of those that we need to kind of address. There is no one from the public here to speak. Hey, okay, thanks. Okay. All right, the approval of the minutes, my favorite part of this. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not my favorite part. Um, can we go ahead and uh, call a vote? Does everybody approve of the minutes? Have everybody had a chance to actually take a look at the previous minutes? Okay. Anybody uh, need to make any comment or can we go ahead? Does everybody go ahead and approve the minutes? Some sort of sign, noise, whatever. If you're not saying anything, I'll take that as a tacit approval of what's going on. All right. Moving moving ahead, um, reports of the working group members for those that went through the Euclid Fair Park ballpark neighborhoods. Um, thoughts, what did you see? How did you understand? How did that in, in fact, uh, like, help you kind of think through the maps that you've been looking at so forth and so on. So, Eric, we didn't end up doing like a field trip. I just sent an email with, um saw that like where to go and i think ann might be the only one that went and um and and saw and reported back last time that she understood yeah. you know those like kind of um the barriers or the bounds that we're talking about with the railroad and the freeways and yeah i showed i showed my wife uh, some of the maps and she also made comments without me saying anything that some of the way that these boundaries go didn't respect that and it would feel off as far as like a city council group feel. So that was actually kind of interesting. So, all right. Anybody else that wants to make comments about either visiting places or, or anything else to that extent? Because I know that we had discussed thoroughly about trying to understand some of the particularities of the city to, to best understand where to put boundaries. All right. All right. Um, and this is also, we're going to roll into this section any new maps that people want to discuss. I'm assuming that's what that little thing is. And is this the part where I can show my top nine? People are okay with that. Yeah. Sweet. Um, and what I will do too, is I will get your guys' emails and I'll send this to you. Cause I have an Excel spreadsheet as well. Um, that will, will help with this. Let me go ahead. Oh, I can't share my content. Can Taylor give you permission to. Oh, there we go. Share. Taylor, you did it. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um. Excellent. Thank you, Taylor. Okay. Can everybody see this? Do you need me to zoom in on my screen? Because I'm I'm using kind of more of a wide, wide screen. So if it's bothersome or whatever, let me know if you want me to zoom in here. I mean, as you're as you're talking about like individual particular boundaries, yeah, you'll want to zoom in, but like, oh. you know, if you're talking like this is it's not that it's unclear, so it's it's fine. Right, At right. Least, not on my, so, you know, 
1080p <laughs> monitor. <laughs> no, that this is so this is one of the nine maps I kind of liked, and I'm just gonna go pretty quickly about it and kind of point out some of the features that I I liked about it. Um one of these, uh, this is the one by Daniel Love. It's a city council districts map. Um, and I really liked that uh, districts one and two were kind of kept really close together. And there is this dividing line with Beck Street kind of going down. Um, it, uh, District two kind of bleeds over and there's some of the boundaries. This is not my favorite, favorite map. And as you can see, there's some of the boundaries in district two here that are, are, are a little weird and they kind of cut off certain blocks. Um, but overall, I thought, I thought that it was pretty interesting. Um, the compactness is good. The, the block split is good, but this to me is kind of the majority of the maps that I see where districts one and two are kind of messed around with and more or less fashion. And this like Beck street dividing line is kind of where people either kind of go across or go, or go back. Um, some of the things I didn't like about it was that, uh, even though it's within the 5% deviance range, district two and district one, um, don't gain as much, but I, I, I don't think that that's a big thing to kind of focus on anyway, but it's kind of interesting that like district four and district six have, have a little bit more uh, on the positive side of that. Um, this other map here, I really, really like. this is actually one of my favorites. And this is by Neil. This is that something totally different. And one of the things I thought that was just like really interesting about it is that it kept everything pretty well grouped. Um, and as you can see here, District 2 takes up a big part of the west side. And then we make a leap to District 6 here where there's a lot of density and it keeps Fair Park pretty close and respects some of the community council boundary here where Fair Park traditionally in its community council boundary spans three different city council districts and this it spans two and as you can see the city council districts are pretty well uh, or sorry community council districts are pretty well represented um again this map is pretty pretty radical when we think about it um because two is taking up a large swath of what four traditionally was and is more centered in the city and then six becomes more on the west side and kind of contains Rose Park, Fair Park, and and uh, Jordan Meadows, Morton Meadows area. Um, so I thought it was an interesting take on on some of this and worth worth checking out. Um, similarly, like here's another one with uh, I tried to I tried to look at ones that had kind of low block group splits and had pretty high compactness, and I would say like forty percent or above is what I was really aiming for. Uh, and looking to evaluate at least those two metrics, and then also trying to keep the population, the the race population, is pretty, pretty even keeled there and not split. This one I like because it, if you look at the deviations, they're pretty evenly split, and it for the most part follows um, a lot of the boundaries and looks a lot cleaner than the first one that we saw by Daniel. One, this is a uh, city council district by Chris Jones, um, and it's a very very tidy map. So, um, and if we were to look and bounce between the two, and I like to use this evaluation screen, you can, oops, you can see this, the difference here, oops, sorry, the difference between this and this. So the Fair Park and uh, Poplar Grove are pretty, they're, they're pretty, like, not a lot of difference. And I think it's done a more, uh, a better job of kind of keeping within boundaries. And then, uh, here's the first draft, or what I'm going to call the first draft of Eric Kenny's maps, and there's three of his that I really, really like. The first draft, the third draft, and the 42nd draft, and you can see between Chris Jones's and Eric's, there's like a little bulge here, which I thought was actually kind of interesting, and it kind of keeps some of the flavor of Rose Park, but kind of goes into Capitol Hill, and we kind of, uh, District 2 takes a little bit more of Fair Park here. Um, I thought it was an interesting take. Not again, not my favorite, favorite map, but it's definitely worth pursuing. And I think Eric builds upon this as he kind of goes. Here's his third one, and it kind of teases back. And again, this back street line here becomes a good dividing line. And district one kind of dips into what traditionally has been district two. And and I thought that was actually kind of interesting as well. And then we can also see that there's a little bulge here in district five. 
And I'm going a little bit fast and furious with these just because when I send out the spreadsheet, you guys can kind of take a look and assess for yourselves which ones you like. Um, I like this one too because, again, it's a little bit more compactness there. Um, and I also like that District 2 kind of gets a little bit fair of a shake here. Um, and the, the biggest thing for me and why I really liked this map uh, by, by Darren is a lot of the deviation is kept pretty pretty uh, precise. Like we're not going too far above. Like in some of the maps, there's plus 1,000 and then negative six elsewhere. And this one does a pretty even split of how we, we, we look at stuff. And you can kind of see here um, where the current city council lines are and how they would kind of shift. So um, fair, fairly interesting map. District two, however, like it, uh, I, I feel that once we get past the train tracks, this side of district two is going to be a little bit alienated from what we traditionally thought of district two, but I'm not going to let that hinder me in thinking about this, but it is kind of something to, to know, you know, um, this map by Nicole Salazar, same type of thing. Again, the deviance is pretty well represented and it is super tight in terms of where the actual boundaries are. The one thing to kind of note is that this boundary here for district two and up here, I still find these to be very weird, and there, there are some maps that kind of address District 1 and District 2 and the way that their boundaries are better than others. Um, this one I find I, I really, really like. It's compelling to me, but I also find this little sliver here near uh, District 3 to be, to be kind of weird. <laughs> um, here's another map that I really, really like. This is the second draft by, by Eric, and I... I like the way that it's kind of verticalized and compacted some of the, the districts. Like, I would have never thought to make District 1 this big and then make District 2 like this, but it, it makes sense and it's a fresh take on some of the city council districts. I know that a lot of uh, probably, I don't want to speak for the constituents, but I, I could definitely feel where they may get some pushback um, on, on the way that some of this is done. Um, the Beck Street line is... You know, this this area here is still kind of weird, but I, I feel it does a really great job with the boundaries and respects a lot of the the natural ways that the the roads and the slopes and the mountains and stuff kind of go. Um, and as you can see, some of the city count, uh, uh, sorry, the community council districts are going to be recarved out a little bit. Um, and I, I like that Fair Park isn't split among three different city council districts. Um, so this one was actually quite compelling to me. And I really loved Eric's last one. This is one of my favorites, is 42 by him. And um, I just I, I just like how unique this kind of like dips into West Point here. Um, this area over here is still kind of weird, but it kind of makes sense to me. There's a lot of industrial area here. And most of the residential, I believe, is like up in here, uh, if I remember correctly. And it again follows some really nice natural lines and the deviation isn't isn't that bad and it it does a really good job of not splitting the block groups even though it suffers a little bit in compactness i, th I thought it was quite compelling so i just wanted to kind of give a quick overview if anybody wants to ask me any more in-depth questions about like what i was thinking when i was looking at these and why i like them out of the the tons that i saw um please feel free to do that go ahead Stop sharing here. So I just kind of wanted to present those and also let the, the commissioners know that if they want this, uh, I will gladly, I'll probably just send it to everybody anyway, so that they can go take a look and see where my head's at. And to my spreadsheet as well. Eric, this is Cindy Lou, city recorder. Sorry to interrupt the conversation. Oh, yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask, there are actually four maps by Darren Mana, and I wanted to know which one you referenced, if you don't mind, just. Yeah, let me find the, the Darren. Thank this you. One, I'm just city, marking them. Yeah, city council districts current. Um, can you tell me the last three numbers on the hyperlink? Yeah, 5C8. I was actually going to give you the last five, Thank so you. it's not ahead of me. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. Hey, you're very welcome. Hey, Ann. Hello, at last. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm 
I find the, it impossible. Did you, in your early part, discuss any of the input from districts one or two that has been added since we met? We haven't discussed that. I was just going over some, some maps. Do you want to make a comment on that, Anne? Well, I was waiting. I've worked on a map that um, Ben or Hassan can share with you, but it needed input from districts one and two to be relevant because the numbers don't match. Um, and I was, I have met or have met with, or had received information and talked with both the Sugar House land chair person, and she sent me maps of Sugar House and how they are connected by communities of interest. And I spoke with Central, East Central City chair, and she sent maps that show communities of interest. And so I tried to work with particularly East Central and combine it with District 5 in order to come up with an appropriateness in her comments that District 5 has no relation to District 3 which is where the final map we had of community councils, a large portion of District 5 was in District 3. And she indicated that South Temple, on one side of the street, you're District 3, and the other side, you're District 5, and they don't have any interest in each other in the sense of a community um, relationship. So I was trying to get that out of District 5 and work with District 3 to get into an appropriate number, but I needed information about from Districts 1 and 2 how they were trying to get their communities of interest so that we could balance poor district four. And I did include the Granary District in district five in order to make room for balancing district four. But it doesn't balance uh, because I don't I don't have no other ways to wiggle with the information I received from these council persons about their communities of interest and, and no change from districts one and two. So those are my comments about how I've tried to come up with something that could help all districts with their communities of interest and reduce us to two representatives if necessary. I think I can speak for, for District 2 a little bit, and actually Marty can speak for District 2 better than I can. But I think that, you know, traditionally District 2 has thought of themselves as a hard stop with the railroad, but would not be um, offended if it went past that into like, the granary and also like ballpark areas, because I feel there is kind of a continuum and feel past the railroad into those neighborhoods. Would you say that, Marty? I think I think that districts one and two are really really tough. Oh, sorry, Marty, I didn't want to cut you off. <laughs> I could not figure out how to unmute. Um, 
<laughs> Jeez. No, I think that's accurate. I think I think I'm interested in hearing though, um, and how you're defining communities of interest or how the other communities that you spoke with, how they're defining communities of interest. Yes, they have names and they have boundaries. And I did send those, <clears throat> I don't know if they're, if you received them in your email, I sent them to Ben and Hassan. Um, <clears throat> So that you could see their maps of defined and they have a name. And they, in the case of, <coughs> excuse me, both districts, of, both council districts have had those designations of communities of interest. <coughs> excuse me. It always happens when I talk too much. Um, <coughs> so I don't know. Ben or Hassan, have you shared those maps with the other council members? Um, we we did not share with the with the commission members, but if you can click on the community councils on the map, you can see the East Central Community Council. I think where that starts to break down and um, especially in the West side is Fair Park. Currently it is represented or split if we're just looking at community council boundaries between districts um, one, two, or city council districts one, two, and three. And that has always been a bugaboo to me the way that is, but I totally understand where they're actually situated and the kind of makeup of what of what's there. And some of the maps that I've liked have done a great job of looking at some of the city, uh, sorry, community council boundaries and have made them either represented by two closely aligned community councils like district one and district two um, and not split up by three. Um, in my opinion, like if we look at Fair Park again as an example, if it were aligned with just districts, uh, uh, city council districts two and three in their community council boundaries, that is uh, a very different feeling than being aligned with uh, districts one and two, if that makes sense. It does. It does, but it doesn't. Um, is there any other way? I, I mean, if, if you're satisfied with the way the map is, and you're wanting to make no changes in districts one or two, then we have to make other changes in other districts in order to get other community councils of interest having some semblance of being in one or two council districts, not three or four as East Central was being divided into. And um, did you talk to, I don't know if the University Gardens Community it's, Council is super active, was that part of, they don't think they're part of kind of the avenues either? No, and there really is no, I'll read you Esther's letter if you haven't seen it. University Gardens neighborhood is not a standalone community council. It is one of four neighborhoods of East Central, which are Bryant, Douglas, Binion, and one called University Gardens. But, but it's those four areas, and then she gives the boundaries and indicates that <clears throat> these central boundaries go as far south as ninth south, not stop at east, at 800 south. And if the commission rents, recommends putting 1400 east to 10th east, south temple to 5th in district 3, we this will mean we have been split between three community councils, and that was too much. So in the map that I have shared there, putting 
East Central, and it says University Gardens, but that's not a separate council, put their east boundary line in District 6, which she feels they are more aligned to than District 3, in order to give some more leeway to get District um, four to have a more appropriate number. One of the interesting things to address in this uh, community council adjustment map is um, there are two there are there are two places where the deviations need to be adjusted. Right, it's district two and district four. And any way you cut the dice, it's gonna oh five. No, is it no, it's two it's, and it's two, four, and five. It's two, four, and, and five. five. Because yeah. five works we're, like we're, it's we're down to we're like down two thousand and or like eighteen hundred in district five. Oh, but in this map, the CC adjustment, if I'm looking at it here, the way that Anne has put the map, it's within the oh five right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in yeah. this particular map, yes, yeah, just two and four. Yeah, just two and yeah. four. Okay. And so Sorry, I thought you meant like overall. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah. you're right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, and like, you would have to make up, um, you would have to make up a lot of ground for district 2 and you're going to either be hitting into 3, 4 or 5 to do right. that. You know, and it would make sense either it would make sense in some sense to. Push district 4's boundaries, uh, inward and shrink them a little bit in order to kind of make that adjustment. I don't think that there's ever going to be an easy way to do this without stepping on a few toes, or as the app metaphor goes, you break a few eggs to make an omelet. You know, you give a little to get a little. Well, I, I, I agree, and that's what I was trying to do. But I was also hoping there might be some adjustment on 1 and 2, and if not then the adjustment has to come from all of the other councils in order to keep one and two within their communities of interest. I think that's what it's going to come down to just based on the way that this map is laid out now, because if we look at districts mm -hmm. one and two based on your map, it's negative 499, which is great because it's within the de deviation range. Uh, but district two is definitely suffering with negative 2000 in terms uh, of representation while district four has over representation based on the target number that we're looking at. So the equitable distribution needs to come from from somewhere. Um, and if I were a betting man, if you're looking at to, to make some adjustments in district two, I think that we would align less with with district three somewhat with district four, but it may be a better fit to make that adjustment in district five. And in district four, mm -hmm. just in terms of like feel and the way that people like kind of align themselves or, or would feel like this is a neighbor that I would would have more in common with than this other neighbor, if you can say. And that's what I was waiting to hear. How you would adjust. Yeah. So that's the map as is, but I didn't feel it was complete. But time ran out to keep changing and I spent the afternoon doing it. <laughs> and hey, then, I think you did a great job. You brought some good questions to the table. Just some food for thought. So is our intention to go through these top, just keep going through maps or looking at these top ones like how are we dialing the, down yeah that's that's a great question i didn't know if people wanted to talk through any more new map new maps new maps <laughs> before we actually went through pending and unfinished business um because then i think in when we get to the new business part we should have a serious conversation of like there's 170 plus odd maps there how do we whittle them down um, 
Eric did a very, very good first stab with 18 maps, and I think that's kind of a, a bite-sized chunk of things. And I took the majority of his list, actually all of it, because I, I see very closely eye to eye with him as far as like that is concerned from what I've seen of the maps and whittled it down to nine and have sent them out to, to everybody. But we want to come to like, can we can we go from like 18 to nine, nine to like three to five, something like that. But that's a good eye on the prize type thing. And to your point, Marty, too, and I, and I think it's worth repeating, like after looking at 174 maps, um, and quickly kind of like taking a deeper dive into some of the maps that I wanted to, to get a better understanding and felt more aligned with. There isn't much that I can provide outside of like trying to figure out more cogent arguments about why I would choose one map over the other, because there's some really excellent maps out here, you know, from a wide ranging group of people. Were the maps that you talked about the ones also that Neil had sent? I'm trying to find that email that Ben had sent um, where he gave his kind of like narrative on which ones are. Right. His... And, yeah, I did not talk about those. I, I may have used one or two. Let me. Oh, here it is. Here. I wonder yeah. if we want to look at those since he kind of did that some of that work for us. Yeah, 100%. If you do you want to pull them up or I can, I can do it either, either or. Yeah, I'd like pull to... them up so you can focus on your conversation. Perfect. And I'll just start with the first one on his list um, by Eric and go down the list. You tell me when you're ready for him. Hey, Ben, I was thinking, I, I don't know what the other commissioners think. Instead of going over his no votes, Maybe we should just focus on the yes as a as a whittling down exercise. What does everybody think of that? Well, I guess that depends if anybody. Um, I haven't had a. I've been in meetings all day, so I haven't had a chance to look at them. Does anyone have um, a contrary opinion though? Would they have a vote yes to one of his no's? I mean, then that could be an interesting dialogue. But otherwise, I'm fine with that kind of rule of thought. Yeah, I so when I presented, he said no to Eric's uh, RD 2022-02. Um, and I think he makes a very good comment about like why he would say no, but it wasn't compelling enough of a reason for me to, to completely dismiss it out of hand. Because even though it quote unquote breaks up those downtown communities, uh, north and south of 200 South, I didn't think it was so broken up that it would lose the flavor and nucleus of that district. You know, um, and I think those other districts that got some of those edges there uh, would be just fine. It wouldn't really matter. But I mean, it, it, Neil has these are very thoughtful comments and it did give me a, a moment of pause as I was looking at them to say, like, well, I don't really know. But I, and I didn't even consider Eric's uh, 041. Um, even though Neil said yes to that. So. Which one was that one? Oh, the zero 04. Okay. Yeah, the zero, the zero 04 one. I didn't even look at that, but I did like Neil's four change map, but I didn't include it in my top nine. Um, so there, there's some of that going on. I really enjoy that Neil um, included his own maps that he is voting against himself on. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was great. That's well, a good when, I, I, when I did my 18, so when I pulled my, um, like, when I, when I whittled it down, I like eliminated half of my maps too, because I was like, I was like, after looking at them, like, and hearing everybody's comments, I'm like, no, this isn't a good map. <laughs> yeah, I have to give you guys credit for all your work that have yeah, I mean, I spent several hours and I was just like, I can't even, I can't get to where I like anything I'm coming up with. So, yeah, I applaud you all who have created maps. I do think like uh, when we get to this, uh, Eric's community council boundaries one, which wasn't in my top nine, Neil makes a very compelling argument about why it should be. And I like didn't think of it in those terms about the the, the, what is it? The Temple Square district. Um, but that is actually a really, like when we talk about neighborhood feel, I think that's a really good argument for that. Um, so 
But, so should we yeah, just give, should we just pull them up in order? Do we want to go with yeses or noes or all? We could probably go with all. I mean, obviously, yeah. like I've said that I've I've differed on some of Neil's opinions, but <laughs> let's do it. Let's do all. We might as well. Yeah, just let's just kind of go in order. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing all the talking, so if other commissioners want to like chime in. <laughs> Eric, how was New York? <laughs> oh, so good. Too bad it was for work. This is the one, this is one of the ones that I put in my top nine. Um, even though it was a little bit funky, I'm sorry, I'm like butting in already making commentary. Even though I thought that District 1 had some like funky parts with Capitol Hill. I still thought this was actually really compelling because I think that Rose Park area actually has a natural feel and bleed over into that small little Capitol Hill area. Um, I vote no on this one um, because I'm in that area and we talked about this last week, but the freeway, the train tracks, the refineries, <laughs> I went up a little farther north. Well, not farther, like just looked over farther, but there's a lot between that sliver and Rose Park. Um, so anyone that has this little jog um, going to Rose Park, as much as I <laughs> as much as I want to be a part of that community, I don't think we are because there's too many physical barriers. That makes sense. I completely forgot that that refinery is in that little nook right there on Beck Street near the garage and stuff like that. Where on the map? Um, is that I'm trying to, I can't see. In the, in the farthest east, um, chunks of the green area. Um, is that a triangle, that little finger. Yeah, so, like, basically right under where it says Capitol Hill. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, up in that. Yes, you know, this shape. <laughs> yes, I've I've driven there myself. So what do you do you include that in district one or not? No, in district three. That would go into district three. Yep. Okay. Now you're making me rethink my top nine, Mallory. <laughs> And I agree with that too. I mean, if, if we want to give like just an informal vote, I would also vote no on this one for that same reason. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna resend out my top nine after this with more commentary because I just gave a blanket, like here's this without any sort of context. So this is really good that we're discussing this. Yeah, if there's a like, and the problem is, is there's so many people in those in like in that that sliver that you can't just like wholesale move it over to District Three without taking something else away from District Three somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, that's exact. When I was playing with it, I mean, it was just like, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. there's just so many people in this little part. Well, isn't that the the, the east side? Isn't that the freeway? On that, um, yeah, on yeah. that sliver, there's a, so a there's no way. connection for them in in Capitol Hill to be connected with them roundwise, physically, in spite of all of the interaction with the um, industrial part of it. It still seems to me would be within the Rose Park if if it were ever reached out to, but I don't know how Capitol Hill would reach it across the freeway. Yeah, I think that's, I think the, like, the freeway is really the, the big issue. And the freeway is that left side of the map. So where the, that the left black line is, that's where the freeway goes. So it's, and it's like, as uh, Marty was saying okay. last time, it was, it's like, or no, it was, it was, was it Marty or Mallory? What Mallory, I think you were talking about how, how it's like walls, like the freeway is like literal walls. 
Right. So I understand. I I was misunderstanding the lines. So I can see that where the railroad track is, right? Yeah. That, so the and right it does, side does fit over more in Capitol Hill because yeah. it, it's on the other side of the right. freeway. Yeah. I yeah. So I the, the, the right and, side there is Back Street and Victory, so it goes up, and then it's got that like marmalade district. Right. I understand it now. Yeah. Eric, you address that little like triangle there in map four, right? Because you, you actually round it out um yes. on that freeway I part. Still, I still included Beck Street into yeah. District One. So which and there's six hundred people that live in that 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 track. So it's like I, they're gonna be completely cut off from their district. Like I, you know, after last week's discussion of us talking about this, I actually don't like most of my early maps because it doesn't it puts that sliver all the way over the freeway in district one and i actually don't like having that after after mallory's very impassioned discussion about it last week i was i was like nope i i i get it like i don't i don't think it makes sense to have that over at, like as part of the west side god i'm sad i missed that no but i i I totally get what you're talking about now because I've been in Warm Springs Park a ton. I used to live in Marmalade. So, like, that argument makes a lot of sense to me. So, like, District or like my map three is sort of the first map that takes into account where that moves that over. Do you still so, like your map three, Eric, Kenny? Or is that I one? I like my map three, yes. Okay. Okay. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like your map three, but you would not say that for map four, though, right, Eric? Based I would on... not say that for map four, yeah. Um, I think there could be some work with map four that could make that work if we wanted to go this sort of vertical splitting of downtown this way. But um, Neil made a good point about how really that that sort of central core, like the central downtown and the East Central feel more aligned than like I would down in Central Ninth with like, I don't necessarily feel part of that sort of like downtowny area, but what I do feel, I feel more aligned with that wet, with the West side of downtown. So like where like the, the Meridian is and the, the Milagro and all of those sort of on that sort of like second West, third West, fourth West, all of those apartments, I feel more aligned with those than I do at like second east. But you know. this map that you're talking about, are, we're not seeing it, are we? No, 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 no. It's this is still this. So I think, I mean, let's, um, I mean, I, I would say that like, I don't. I would even disregard this. I would vote against this map if I was voting for a map. I would say, you know, <laughs> on my own map. So it's, um, you know, do we want to kind of like do a quick vote on each one, like up or down? Yes, if we can see them. Well, then we're just going to start with this one first. So if you want to just like zoom out a little bit, um, whoever is. So, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I was easily thinking, I just got back in, but everybody's in agreement on the down. I just yeah. Is there so I guess no reason to no reason to ask the question why. I'm just gonna go with you all. I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> it's really the sliver, um, Daniel. It's really that sliver that's west of the freeway or east of the freeway in District One. Okay. After our discussion last week, we're just kind of like that doesn't make sense to be on the west side because it's it's separated literally by walls. Okay. <laughs> So any map that kind of has that, we're kind of like, man. <laughs> Look how easily convinced I am. I'm like, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's move on to map two, unless there's any other discussion there. I was just going to restate for the record, uh, and this will be in the minutes, that all commissioners present and Commissioner uh, Neil Vandermost were all no on this. So we okay. won't include this for the meeting tomorrow. Perfect. I, I, I approve of that message, Ben. 
<clears throat> I really liked this district two map, and now I'm wondering the efficacy of it. Yeah. Like, I feel like maybe there's could be some work around this. Like, if we like this idea, um, you know, like I could play with it and sort of move some things around to see if I could get it um, more uh, more balanced. Yeah, I I think if I was going to make more intelligent commentary on it than the non-intelligent commentary I made last time, as I was like, oh, this is a really nice looking map. Um, is that boundary in district one where it's going on seven uh like emory street 700 if you want to push that back to indiana and redwood and keep that as part of district two so okay so um, because let public me grove and glendale really align with district two okay could you can we zoom in and on, on 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 those um on that region the poplar grove that boundary between district one and two. Thank you. And so where, where like 500 South is that boundary, I would get rid of that and all the squiggly line that makes up district one and push that all the way to Indiana. Well, the squiggly right line is the river. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The squig like that's, the that's, that's, <laughs> it was like, I picked like, you know, the natural boundary that is literally right. the boundary. <laughs> Right. So and Eric just... Lopez, what direction are you suggesting to move the, are you suggesting to change the squiggly line so that it goes all the way to 800? Yeah, west? I'm saying that squiggly line that separates district one and two and district one and uh, five. five, push that all the way to Redwood. I don't know the population split, so I don't know if that's going to throw it off, but that way, like, Glendale. To Redwood? Yeah, Redwood, Indiana. Yeah, what do you think? I I mean, I so, so now we're talking about where my house is, so I'm like, <laughs> like excuse that's, me. <laughs> that's really far. So if if I'm understanding you, if Eric, so that squiggly line, so move the river boundary all the way to Redwood so that that Poplar Grove area goes into District 1? Oh, District, District two. 2. District 2, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So essentially, cool. essentially what it would do is, is the line would come down Redwood Road along Ninth South and then uh... up. What does that do for our numbers? It seems like a big chunk of... It could be. District. It could be a big chunk. It could be. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I'm worried about. I didn't even look at any of the population blocks um, here, but let me just take a quick look. Yeah, that's going to be a little hefty of an uplift, but I feel that I feel that the padding between District One and District Two can actually take that. Just eyeballing it. Okay. So, I, Marty, how do you feel this being so? This is your your neighborhood. No, I'm thinking about it. I think it could be okay. I mean, because you could kind of make up for some of. I mean, I think it's still it keeps um, this kind of like west side sliver together. That's so important. Um, yeah. And keep in mind, though, that we are going to be like losing that 600 population up in that north because right now it's in district two. So that would have to shift over to district three, which would be right. fine because it actually would put district three almost exactly where it needs to be. Um, so there is that 600 shift that's going to happen um, oh. just on that northern portion. So whatever is in this area. So as long as it, it sort of keeps us under that like 1500, 1600 disparity. Like that's where that five percent is. Sorry, I'm going to be a pink. Can we pull out so we can see? So I can see what you mean, Eric. Oh, so, so the, the 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 Capitol Hill, the East Capitol Hill area. Uh -huh. This is uh, it's six hundred about six hundred people that live in this district. So we would move that entirely into District Three. Okay. Uh, and then um, move District Two over to Redwood Road. Okay. I mean, it's really interesting and I, I, it's interesting. It's not something that I had thought about 
going, you know, this way instead of this yeah. way. Um, I like it. I don't hate it. Yeah, I don't. It's <laughs> not like I'm not. Um, like, I think. Um, what would that look like? On this map. You're taking all of Poplar Grove, Glendale. I can't see. Yeah, yeah it would just so be the Poplar, it would just be Poplar would, Grove, right? The green would turn into where Poplar Grove and Glendale is into this light, the light color, it's, whatever that. Oh. Um, that's which, District Two. Which I would argue, if well, maybe actually, this is arguable. So I'm sure there's a counter argument. But if we were to, I feel like Poplar Grove. Sometimes it feels like it could always go either way. So when we're thinking about a neighborhood identity, I see its uh, its connection to Fair Park still. Um, you know, since part of it is on this side, and then Glendale's always been its own, almost like its own identity. So I could see a split there. Well, and I think what naturally happens. So you know, when Glendale included Poplar Grove before the community councils had a falling out and there was this division and that's how Poplar Grove came about. Um, you know, a lot of people who've been on the West side for a really long time, they don't even acknowledge Poplar Grove or Fair Park. They're like, it's Glendale and it's Rose Park and that's it. Those are the, those are the communities. And, um, In so the I mean, yeah, so there's that's that interesting I'm... kind of thing too, when I'm like, Poplar Grove exists like we are here you know but um so i think keeping poplar grove in, for me over with glendale like is more of a, a natural connection than poplar grove with fair park but of course i live closer to glendale so i feel like that's the connection there so and maybe because it's like our history that we used to all be one so i kind of think along those lines a bit is it fair to say that unlike that that Guadalupe neighborhood and that part of Rose Park that always that that felt very connected to that you know district area. What I'm hearing you say is that Poplar Grove, it's also its own identity that it's connected more to Glendale. But if you were to split them, it's still its own piece. Maybe they could go either way. Yeah, and I feel like um, if we're talking right about a city council member having our interests. Um, and, and understanding that if you're a city council for like, for the whole of one and the whole of two, I think you very much have an understanding of the needs of these communities. I think where I get, um, a little bit more nervous is when it, we come into, um, a different like downtown and I think downtown's needs and the West side of Salt Lake are very different. Although as we grow and things, you know, will morph and change, but I do think we have distinct differences. And so, um, a council member who, who understands the West side of Salt Lake, I think you could divide and play with us over here a little, um, and our needs and our voices would still be heard. It's when you start to take like, like if you were to take Fair Park and Rose Park and put those over with downtown, or I mean, I would be like up in arms and be like, no, 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 right? Because downtown and Fair Park don't have that much in common. So I'm okay with this this interesting um, slicing in these directions. Like I think it's it's interesting and it's and I feel like it works. Hey. Um... I Man. do, though, think like, sorry, and I know that the river is like this natural that I do think the railroad track should be, if possible, and I played with it and I never could get it to work, but the railroad track um, mm -hmm. really is the natural divide, not right. because like I walk on the Jordan River every day and it's like as big as my arm, like it's just not <laughs> enough of a natural divide <laughs> to um, natural element, but the railroad tracks is the true, true. It's like the freeway that Mallory yeah. was talking about. Okay. Um, ben, if you can refresh this page, I moved that Capitol Hill area um, over. So like, I haven't done anything around the river yet, but I did at least take that one thing out and move that over, so. Yeah. 
Now I see another uh, concern in this map with the East Central uh, crossing South Temple. South Temple. Mm -hmm. And those four blocks there. No, it only actually only goes up to South Temple. That's only South Temple. Well, so the, then, the, then it drops down. Yeah, so it's the other side over here. Is yes, from it's the east other side. Going west. Yeah, that would be uh, not aligned with District Three because of South Temple. Okay. So that would be another adjustment. I'm not sure it would be in the right direction, but one I would suggest. Okay. Yeah, the other thing I really like about this, if we're looking at the way that people align to their community councils, Fair Park minus a very small sliver in the bottom right hand corner is all part of the same uh, district, which again, currently is split between three different city council districts. So that type of representation becomes important. Um, and as you can see, it's that little small sliver that's in the third district. Um, but for the most part, that community council boundary is is great. So I really, I really liked this one. And I think with some tweaks and changes, it's, it's a front runner for me. <laughs> front runner. I also really like this map. And like Marty, I would, I keep thinking this way, not this way. So kudos on moving our perceptions. Mm -hmm. Mallory, what do you think with your area? I think, I think it's an interesting one. And I think, um, I don't know. I think it's a good idea. It's a good thought experiment, if nothing else, to make them kind of think in a slightly different way. And I would also argue kind of the district three going below South Temple, you know, farther west does make sense because there's been some pretty intense development um, along that area that also is similar <laughs> to what mm. we've got going on up in my tract. Um, so kind of the the western and southern boundaries of this um, would have some pretty intense of district three. Sorry, um, yeah. have some some similar um, new pressures that have emerged in the past couple of years. And I'm I'm in my understanding you're aligning them more with district four than district three. No, I think it works in district three. I think it could go either way. Um, I, I mean, you know, number wise, I don't think it can, <laughs> but, um, idea wise, I think, I think there's a lot of similarities in the development that's been going on along third West, um, that ties into kind of that Northern part of the downtown central business district area. There's a lot of apartments that have gone in, um, but but that would on be that more, corner. Wouldn't that align then more with District Four as opposed to District Three? I think there's some changing dynamics in District Three. We're not all the avenues. We're not all single family homes. Um, everything that's going in by me, a house gets torn down, and yeah. ten to you know sixteen units go in at least. Um, so it's yeah that kind of. The Beck Street, I'm trying to like point you out to the road, <laughs> but that Beck Street kind of sliver and then going down to North and South Temple. Um, one, it's a commuter corridor. So like we all are very frustrated by all of the commuters <laughs> as well. We have that shared interest of being on some UDOT roads that the city doesn't always get to regulate. Um, but there's, yeah, I think, I think it makes sense in either spot, so. Okay. So is this a map with possible suggestions that we would all consider to be one of the possible five? I would like to see how the numbers play out, <clears throat> but so far I, I really like it. I think uh, to Daniel and Marty's point, 
I really love having my orientation of city council districts go vertical like that. And I, I think it's kind of fresh. Uh, but that's not the only consideration. I think it does a really good job of balancing out um, a lot of community dynamics that we've been talking about. And people have voiced like where it can change, and it's actually very viable to make those edit. It feels like. If, if you know. I can add something to that argument, or in addition to, in the other maps that we've had, I, I, I guess I was feeling this and didn't know really how to articulate it until I saw this. It was feeling like in the west side neighborhoods, a particular area where we kept shifting the boundaries. It was it always it kind of felt like it's always this neighborhood that gets it. You know, like. Screwed in one way or another for sorry, it's been a long day. So that's those are the words that are coming up. What I appreciate of this map is that it actually doesn't make a lot of the compromises be felt by this particular neighborhood. So to me, it's kind of West side conscious in a way that we haven't seen in other maps. So I, I appreciate that. Mr. Chair. This is oh, Cindy this Lou. what? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't I mean to interrupt you. Oh, yeah, no, please. Just wanted to mention, I'm tracking the maps that you guys are going through for the overall voting that's occurring tomorrow. Um, I think what Ben and I were looking at that you would have between 20 and 25 to go ahead. And so far, um, we just want to make sure we're getting all of those that each of the commission members have in their higher levels of ranking. Is that suitable? Or are you planning to do like a vote tonight and get to five tonight? Oh, I apologize. God, no. I'm delayed. Okay. No, no, that 25. That's a lot of breathing room. That's a lot of waistband space. That's beautiful. Yeah, I was like five. Like when you said five, I was like, I can't commit this to a top five, but I can do a top 20. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's perfect. Thank you for level setting that Cindy. Cindy Lou. So I appreciate that. I'm reminded that this meeting was going to be for an hour so we need to move a little oh yeah sorry yeah <laughs> oh thank you and keeping us keeping us on pace um yeah, you know was on about that and he said it was supposed to be till 7 30 so maybe we could get clarification if that's yeah let's do that true. if there's confusion As staff, we were planning to go till 730. If a quorum of the commission is available to keep going, we're ready to keep staffing the meeting. Is everybody on the same page of going till 730? And if those that can't, let us let us know. And then tomorrow night, 7, 530 to 730 again. Okay, but let's move. <laughs> All right, and pedal the metal. To put this in overdrive, we're going to go 55 and a 35. Let's go to to map uh, RD 2203. Eric's next map. I'm going to try to reconnect on my computer again. Um, my internet just went out, but um, I'm on my phone, so I'm going to try to connect to my computer again. But I'm here. The more I look at this one now in light of the conversations we've had, I'm mixed on it more than I'm more than I was on on two. <laughs> and mostly it's because of district two. Um, Mr. Chair, currently you have three people of the commission who have agreed that this that this map should go forward to tomorrow. Is that an do you want to have a com I don't mean to disrupt you guys. I just want to no, make sure that I sharing the information you have three that have spoken to this map that it should go forward if that's enough then you could proceed to the next yeah does anybody else, let me ask this question i guess does anybody else see a reason to dissent and not move this map forward no okay yeah let's put let's put it on our move forward we have a bucket of 25 what might as well. How many are in the bucket right now? Two. Oh. Two. <laughs> All right, we <laughs> started. Okay. All right. I will. Say, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Let's go to four then.
I feel like um, for four, I just feel like those plus three and seven really need to be like, can we just find a home for like, or can we just get it so that it's just zero deviation? <laughs> I'm being facetious. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Can yeah, we, I'm trying. Can we zoom in on uh, district? Um, it's four and two. That connection. Um, I just want to see what where the breakdown is. It's, it's the three. It's the north. freeway. Yeah, it's the freeway. Yeah. With the exception of where it crosses, I think that's. I don't know. Second south, something like that. It's oh, no, it's, it's, uh, it's probably 400 north or 500 north. 300 north. And then this boundary, that's the Jordan River boundary. Okay. Yeah, do people, is there anybody who doesn't like this map? Unfortunately, now everything I'm looking at, I'm comparing it against that vertical map, uh, which is really attractive. But um, so I'm not a, I'm not a cutting district one and two on the 600 north line feels like a rough cut, given that that's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty um, like my like identity neighborhood, you know. Even with the freeway? Well, once you get on I know the it's other only, I know the freeway is only that one portion, but. Once you get on the other side of the freeway, 600 North is, um, while it's a busy street, yeah, I think it's like very, um, when you're talking about race, ethnicity, socioeconomic, like you're very much in, um a community of a whole that whole part where the overpass is is pretty mm -hmm. that's a, a a big divide for sure <clears throat> i'm trying to think of where it's fifth west on the other side of the overpass dan do you know is it um, where it ends, uh, in terms of it's, it's 4th West. So it goes from 4th West to 800 West. I think it's the, with the, with the overpasses. Don't quote me on that, but I think those are roughly the, the streets. Yeah, that's 7th West to 200 West or to 300 West seems a little. Not a district 2 kind of neighborhood. But I don't know. I'd have to go to it to see it. To, for me, it's the six hundred, the six hundred north boundary that moves you into District One. That you know. So on 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 the, if we stay on, where is it? Let's, even if we stay on nine hundred west, right between nine hundred west and even twelve hundred west, right? That's Beth is it's it's that it's a it's a really. Uh, Community of interest that stays together on both sides of 600 North. So that line feels. I can see why it might feel like a natural line, but it splits down what it, I, I perceive to be Rose Park. Where would you move it? Where, where would, would you? Move it? Well, that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> North Temple is where I would say the natural dividing line between that is, and that's where I've usually been like. Uh, the non Rancho Market side of North Temple is like, oh, that's Poplar Grove area. And then once I cross over and I'm near Rancho Market, I'm like, oh, I'm in Rose Park. It's how I naturally felt about it. I, 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 I can agree with that. I think with all those oh. apartments being built, though, on North Temple, it's starting to feel like I'm not sure. I mean, and we're doing this based on 2020 census. So yeah. based on that. So. In 2020, that was a true statement. In 2022, it's start, it's starting to feel less so. But if we're doing it based on 2020 census, um, yes. 
I feel this is compelling in a lot of ways and I, and I like it because it, and Neil, Neil articulated this perfectly. There's a lot of bold maneuvers here that don't feel out of place, even if I have been accustomed to thinking about North Temple as that split. You know, Neil had mentioned in his comments about including ballpark in District 4, and I feel the same way about the way that District 2 is carved up in that little horn area. Um, I like it. It feels a little subversive. <laughs> But it so doesn't moving, feel out of place. We're moving forward based on votes, right? What goes forward? Yeah. Okay. Let's put it to a vote. Is there uh who who wants to keep this map? Put it in our bucket. I do. I'm fine. If we're looking at 20 to 25, I'm fine with it. Yeah. I feel ah, oh, okay, there's I, Cindy Lou, do you know how uh, many? Yeah. So um, you have enough to move it forward <laughs> and I'll go ahead and include it on the list. Okay. And then just since I am talking, sorry about that chair, um, based on what you had listed as your top set and then the yeses from Neil and the comment from Anne, you have 16 right now that would move forward, but we, I know we haven't heard from everyone. so. I'm just sharing that with you and I'm happy to read off if you'd like, or how can I be helpful? I'm happy to just do a count when you do the thumbs up, thumbs down. Please just let me know. Yeah, just let us know if it passes to go in the bucket because I, you know, when I was presenting my stuff, I we didn't really take about it. I was just like, these are really compelling maps to me. Um, and, you know, I think one of them got axed. So it's, I think it's closer to 15 because I liked uh, initially okay. I liked RD 202201, um, but Mallory made a very compelling argument where I just was like, nope, and it made complete sense, and I overlooked that. Okay, that's great. I'll follow along. So then you were still doing the versions that Neil had mentioned, correct? Okay, yeah. I'll stick with those. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, no worries. Um, let's see. Let's move on. Uh, now that we've taken that vote, let's move on to the community council boundaries. Read by this one. So I see Neil's comment that he thinks this is the strongest one, but I'm just really curious other people's thoughts on um, the deviation seems a little off, especially for seven, but. Um, so that makes me feel like 1,358 too many for our kind of like what we're going for seems a lot to, for me to give it one of the strongest of the bunch. But I know there's more factors there, but that's my two cents. I liked this one because we worked on it together last week, <laughs> you know, and so there were like, there were things that I think could be integrated into a different map, like maybe it gets smushed together with the one that Anne worked with Ben and Hassan on somehow. Um, because I thought um yeah, kind of navigating the one and two split, um, and then a little bit of I can't remember the other things, but it felt like it was a everyone kind of coming together to try to deal with the community input that we received. So I do think that's mm -hmm. one other factor is how do we address that letter that we got from the community councils? And so I would I would argue to keep this on the bigger list for those two reasons. Yeah. I'm just taking a quick look again because my my initial reaction was also akin to Marty's. Um even when I looked over the community council overlay. But I mean, one thing that I think is really great about it when I'm looking at the overlay of community councils, you guys have addressed an issue and very, very great, I should add, about making sure that um, uh, city council representation within the community councils is, is pretty fair. Um, the fair part community council is gonna then be represented mostly by district two and then district four, which I think is a little bit uneven um 
but other than that, like looking at it, I think this actually works out really well. And I really don't have any concern about uh, the district seven, like it, it's going to the upper limit of the deviation, like you pointed out, Marty, but I can live with that. I think it has trouble in the um, central ninth and east central um, area. So I, I wouldn't prioritize it, even though I loved the way we worked together on it. I think that was very good. So I, I don't object to it being on there, but I might ace it if we had more and had one over <laughs> for those reasons. Are you, you're pointing to the ninth and ninth area where there's that little like dip into Yale crest area into district Well, that's six one of them, four. but it's uh, district three down into district two into East central. And oh, district two, district three into district four. You mean? Um, yes. Yeah, that purple area up at the upper right, right. corner. And so I, uh, that's something I wouldn't want on our ending five maps. Okay. I totally missed that because now it is split between three different districts for community right. council representation. Aha. And well, kind of, because the area in the the area in orange really that's that's basically the cemetery, and like oh, yeah, the Hall. bicycles, yeah, right. yeah. So yeah. that's there's like they're not really anybody there in that orange section. Like I was looking at the map, it's 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 uh it's the school, it's the gym, it's the the pool up there, and it's the the cemetery, right? And it's got the Pingree School, but there is still three when you have District Five. District four and district three within the confines of that area. Yeah, and the 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 issue though is is that block that block is split up in such a way that you can't um that you either get like way over far east or you you don't get like any of it. So, no, so I that's, think that's why fair. this map is and though I love the way we worked on it, I thought it was yeah. wonderful. I, I, I'm not at this point uh, wholly in favor of it. Okay, cool. Let's take a quick vote. Who wants to put this in the bucket? Who does not want to put this in the bucket? A four to three. But definitely, it doesn't have a majority on your total. Sorry, it's a four to three. Sure. The only reason I would persuade people to actually put this in the bucket is kind of a gambit when we talk to the city council, like Mallory said. And I think out of our twenty-five, we could be like, "Hey, we actually did a map that did this." Mm -hmm. You know. And so, even though we would not want to maybe, uh, if we think about this and whittling it down to like a top five, it probably wouldn't be in that thing. But if we have to go ahead and present methodology and talk through it, this is a very good counterpoint to then bolster the opinion of other maps that we do want to see and say, okay. hey, if we take this as a map that is trying to really be felicitous to the, to the community councils, this is the trade off versus these other maps that may be doing that are different things, right? Okay. I'll change my vote to a yes then. Yeah. I actually, I like that justification. Yeah, if this gives the community councils what they asked for in that letter, then I think. Yeah. But it doesn't give them, it doesn't give oh, them. Oh, it does. Oh, it, yeah, no, it does. <laughs> it's just that oh, there it are, because it keeps everything together as much as possible. Um, and, you know, I mean, there's going to be some trade offs at some point because of just because of. How the how the population spans. This is this is 1 of the best maps for community council boundaries. And it's very important for people to understand how like difficult it is to actually make those maneuverings to keep a lot of this together. But this is the kind of representation they're going to get if we do that and this will be a spring point for having better discussion 
and thoughts about other maps that we think might be better for the city writ large. Cindy, do I need to take another vote if people just switch oh. like that? Or I'm sorry, or no, like... it's it's on the list. It's in the bucket. <laughs> Thank you. We could throw things out of the bucket later, but I know it's <laughs> all right. Um, I don't want to do Neil's uh, RD twenty two fifty two district tax two map tracks map because he makes a comment in here that his four change map is the superior map. And so, if we could, instead of doing that one, can we go to the four change map and then we'll dip back up into his fifty nine map? Is that is that okay? Okay. And I and I personally, I hate the the second the second west split of two and five, right? Like that, I like the tracks line is not a is. I mean, like you know, Marty was talking about the river just not being a barrier. Like the tracks line is definitely not a barrier. Taking a look at this. Can we see the whole map? How far south on the tracks are Thank you thinking you. that? Um, um, Eric, is there a difference? I'm thinking because in terms of population, I can see it not being a bear, but when we're thinking about, I guess, density, yeah, I don't see as much density on the west side. And then there's that, you know, that in a lot of industry. But of course, I'm thinking like 1300, even 1700 up. Yeah. I mean, if you got close, like if you got, I would say if you got down to 1300 and you wanted to follow it there. I would say that would be okay, but not, not at night, not until you get to 13th, because I mean, yeah, there's, I mean, if you wanted to go the, the freeway, um, so the, the, the freeway bridge that's right here, like maybe, maybe because at that point it really does turn into industrial at that point to the, to the west of the tracks south of that. So, you know, if you wanted to say 10th south. 11th yeah. south somewhere around there and you wanted to split it at the track line yes i think that's fine because nobody lives over there so i'm thinking and that's what i mean in terms of density i think you you are in washington right i used to live on washington yeah. 946 hey 926 uh, so, yeah they knocked our house down and then they built a yeah, whole bunch of apartments yeah why I'm, I'm at 928 so i'm probably in your old lot <laughs> yeah. and that's what i mean in terms of so i i see the argument i'm also thinking in that corridor between you know uh third west and the tracks yeah the density there at the moment or before i think it's slightly grown but if we're going off of the census maps it doesn't it's i guess i'm thinking in terms of of, of neighborhood impact right yeah yeah, if we like as I said, if we went down third west to the freeway bridge, um, the off ramp, and then cut over to the tracks line, I think that would be fine. But I wouldn't split um, because now there's like, I mean, there's a new apartment that's right here. There's uh, like my street has several. So, and like we're much more attached to Lazise and that sort of. You know the central ninth market than we are to the Smiths on ninth on ninth west. Fair. So yeah, so I think that there is a, a justification that could be made there that where we we follow um, third west down to the freeway over to the freeway down the tracks that way. Anybody else have any other comments they want to make on this map? If not, let's take a vote. Who would like okay. to keep this map? With those slight adjustments, yes. Oh, with the slight adjustments. With uh, those with adjustments that, that pushes the boundary to five over to third west, down to the freeway off ramp, and then back over to the tracks line. I would, would be okay with it. We would have to we'd have to send Neil a, a message to do that and then re represent that, I think. So we can copy it. Eric could copy it and make his adjustments. Oh. Then we just present yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. That, 
that works. So yeah, someone someone would have to do that. That that sounds good. But for this in particular map, sorry, want this in the bucket. Hold on, before we go to vote, can you oh, zoom sorry. in on that fair park that between one and two? It just I just want to see again what the split is. Tenth West, okay. Yeah. This map just doesn't hit me correctly, but Neil's yeah. other comment on this one was it was minimal changes. Um mm -hmm. so that that would be one comment. Um as this map currently stands, I, I don't want to put this in the bucket, but if Eric makes those adjustments, copies it and makes or whoever does, um, I would love to revisit that and see how I feel after after taking a look at that. Okay. When my internet decides to come back on, I can actually <laughs> I can actually do that, but right now I cannot. So. <laughs> okay. Um maybe this one could be like on deck for yeah. tomorrow yeah. if yes. those changes get made. And so yeah. okay. I like that. That's a great. I I I love that. Yeah. So, um thank you. That's confirmed and I'm adding the modif modified version as well as one of your cool. Cameras. Thank you. Um let's do what's the next one is it? It's not 52. I'm wondering uh, for the sake of time, Eric, chair, yeah. if we want to maybe jump down to the last two on this list and in staffs just so we can make sure i feel like a lot of meals he says no on but maybe just to get yeah because so yeah. we don't run out of time i don't know just no I, I i like that i was even going to say we don't have to look at the the other ones necessarily um but if we i, I definitely want to take a look at ants but that politely compact one, if I remember looking at it correctly, still needed some adjustments in terms of equitable distribution. Um, but let's pull it. Let, uh, if you don't mind, Ben, can we pull up and politically compact? I do not want to go over the minimal change one because it it I don't think it's going to meet our needs, but it's a good reference point. So, just a few things to point out. If we wanted to take a vote on this, we would need to adjust, or Anne or somebody would need to adjust two, three, and four in order to hit the equability mark. But it, it's worth taking a look at just in, in general. So, if people want to make commentary about how we could possibly adjust this to to then maybe put it to a vote. Um, I know Anne had made some great commentary about wanting to know better about the communities. Anne, did you get all your questions answered to that regard? Well, as we've gone along, okay. I think this map with that many uh, adjustments that would need to be made before it could be considered um, within the ballpark, I think there are other maps that have made those adjustments and we can do away with this one. Did you say, Anne, that you worked on a new one though? I did. It's called CC something. CC adjustments? And that, yes. was that the one that was shared earlier? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah and that one's that still, one, oh, sorry. No, it, it was just under Hassan's name, but it is titled right. CC adjustments. Mm -hmm. Right. Because he, he made it happen on the, in in the internet while I told him the directions. <laughs> because I it kept disappearing while I was trying to do it. I'll also throw out that if the last map gets amended with the modifications, it also it still includes the notch, which was part of the concern that I think motivated this one. So um there's that. The notch in uh, District 4, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and if you want to work on your amended one to adjust districts 2 and 4 to hit the equability factors, if you wanted to put that up for us to take a look at and, and either put in the bucket or not, do you think you can get that done by tomorrow? Well, I just can't make it stay. So I don't know, even if I could do it in my mind, 
I can't make it happen on the iPad. Right. Or, you know, right. Fair, fair. Make it happen. I'd have to have help to do that. So I'm not sure. We may have enough maps. Um, so I think it. I think maybe has started to help me with those adjustments that you've made from another map with the Poplar Grove and the Glendale. That does make a difference to the map I was talking about. It does make a difference into how the rest of the map could be adjusted. And that's what I was waiting for. Was how could district one and two be adjusted? Got it. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. Our, uh, then we'll wait for you to, when you can do it. And then if you, if you have time, we can, we can go ahead. And so it's an questions. on deck 1. Yeah. No, no, wait a minute. Politically correct or CC. The CC adjustment. The CC adjustment politically correct is aced. Is that correct? It is not on the list anymore. Well, there's a lot of adjustments that look to be made. Like you would have to adjust this one for well, just asking. I don't think well, we need to hash what needs to be done. I just want to know if we voted that it is not one on our list. Well, it, it it depends on a few things. Like, well, it depends on this. If you can, if you want to spend the time to adjust districts two, three, and four, um, and you're committed to that, then yeah, I would love to put it on deck. But if you're like, no, I want to toss and I want to focus on the CC adjustment one, then we don't need to have a vote since this doesn't meet the eligibility requirements. I would agree that. It doesn't meet the eligibility requirements and let's move forward with um, other maps, including the CC Council one. Okay, cool. Um, are there any other maps that we want to go over? Um, because we have, uh, we went over the majority of the pending and unfinished business maps, but I would like to get to any of those that we haven't touched if we need to go over any of them. Um, and then talk quickly about new business and then go to adjournment since we have 15 minutes. So if anybody else wants to, to show one, um, yeah. I do have a question now though. Yes, is, please. Is the CC, I can't remember the other word, I'm sorry. We'll call it CC adjustment. CC adjustment, thank you. Is it on or off the list? of consideration same thing like this one if you want to make some adjustments to it to put it into eligibility and you're committed to that i would love to keep it on deck but otherwise we uh we can't really vote on it and it just Thank needs you. to adjust districts two and four okay so it's an on deck Maybe. if you're committed to making the changes yeah totally well see how long the day is <laughs> 24 hours. Good prize. <laughs> so you say. Yeah. <laughs> and depending on your age, <laughs> there are variations. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take it from the commissioners. There's no other maps that we want to review currently in our reports of the working group in section D. And I'm going to move us forward unless anybody stops me into pending and unfinished business. We have gone over uh, one, two, three, and four community council boundaries. We did not touch Neil's uh, 52 and 59 since he kind of excluded that. And for uh, the time being, like, we, I, I believe that everybody was like, okay, with doing that uh, tacitly, at least we went over the, uh, we didn't go over 55. I don't think we talked about that, but we went over four change map politely compact. And then the uh, minimal change map is a staff 1 that says, this is the only thing you need to do. If you wanted to minimally do anything, which is like a 1 line change. Is, uh, does everybody feel comfortable moving on into new business or any questions? My question is. These maps, are they up to 25 that we will 
C have access to when this meeting is over prior to tomorrow's meeting? No, but I will present some, I will go over some of the maps we didn't talk about. Uh, again, the ones that I kind of talked about that we didn't vote on, I was just kind of presenting them. Um, and we'll start rounding out that bulk of 25. I think right now, Cindy Lou, where are we at with uh, with the bucket? You have four, well, five confirmed on the bucket and two on deck. Mallory, are you going to say something or? I'm just wondering if we're getting the ones that you mentioned um, to look at tonight because we got to decide tomorrow. So um, we can't like have a, you know, 15 minute work session on each map. We just need to be able to look at them. And if we're going to combine things, combine things, but have it, we got to keep it moving tomorrow. Yeah, I sent over an Excel spreadsheet of the ones that I was going to talk to. So everybody can take a look at that. Okay. And that was sent earlier in the meeting. I just quickly piggybacked off another email. <laughs> so, yeah, to your point, Mallory, we're just going to be clipping and clopping. And if people have other maps that they want to talk about, get them in an Excel spreadsheet, circulate them to us before the meeting. Let's all take a look and we can spend a minute or two if you have any questions and then just quickly take a vote because it shouldn't take us that long to get to uh, the, the maps that we need. I feel. Any objections to that? Okay. I have a clarifying question though. So we have how many did Cindy Lou just say? Nine plus two on deck? That's in addition five plus two, in addition to what was it, 16 or something? Other ones, right? We have Sorry, can I can I share my screen and clarify? Yes. I apologize. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, Taylor. All right, so you should be seeing my screen, which is an Excel spreadsheet. Is that correct? Uh, not yet, I'm seeing gray. Okay, then it's just. I saw it for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't like my trying to get here. Okay, is that better? Yes. You see it now? Okay. So we have those in blue are confirmed to go forward. Okay. Those that are still listed but not highlighted were mentioned during the conversation tonight, but not voted on. Okay. So I'm down, I, this count is not correct. Please don't yeah. look at these numbers. Um, and from what I understood, the plan was that we would get to 25 tonight, I'm happy to provide those links to you tonight. And then tomorrow you'd get down to five. Now I'm jumping in halfway, so you can correct me as you need to chair. But even with this list right here, we don't have 25 and that's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> can you remind us what you were referencing that maybe people had already sent you their top I would just recall this like number yeah. earlier. What was that? So there, so when we look at this, can you see this Excel spreadsheet? You should be yes. able to see this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one highlights those that Eric went over and then those that Neil suggested. And then also the one that Anne had, and then those that were on the agenda. When I put them all together in combination, I had 16 maps to go forward. But then as the conversation continued, it diminished down by vote for some of them and others just not uh, um, as mentioned by the chair, he, he removed some of his because there hadn't been a vote. So I can either provide all 17 and any more that you guys would like to propose or only those that are in the blue highlight. I would say send all 17. I think that would help people kind of clarify and like get their minds wrapped around. Great. I'm happy to do that. Is there anything good about others? that? 
So. No, Chair, I, I lean on you. I'm sorry. I, I lean on your direction on if you want to add more. I'm happy to get the 17 out, but I'm, I'm also happy to take more. And I am comfortable with Ben as well, acknowledging like we're here to support the commission. We can stay later, but I know that it's a lot of work you guys have to do. <laughs> I think that 17 will be good. It will be a jumping off point to, for us to discuss, like, can we whittle this down to like. 5 and it'd be a good, it's just a good reminder for people to like. If out of the 17 that were sent to us, if you wanted to add more for consideration tomorrow. That'll be fine, but at least we have a starting point of a good block of maps. That we can then say, like. No to this, yes to this, and really get it down to those ones we want to bring over to the city council. Thoughts on that? Do we want to set like by a certain time tomorrow to to share like these two in addition that aren't on that list or something, just so it's not a last minute thing? I don't know if that's I possible. By, I would say by four thirty, like an hour before the meeting. That way we can have time to look at it in case we're you know. Off somewhere <laughs> at 4 30 right before the meeting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Perfect. I think that sounds good because I'm sure there's a couple that we haven't looked at that are worthy of our time tomorrow night. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good to me. Any objections to that plan? 4 30 cutoff date. We're going to get the 17 um, from Cindy Lou. You guys have got my nine. I think there's going to be some overlap there. Um, go with that. Uh, we'll go on to new business. The spreadsheet was sent out earlier in the meeting, so I don't think we need to go over that. That will just that's the whole list of maps, the whole hundred and some odd total. Um, if you have some time, just click through, and you'll probably notice, like Eric had said earlier in the meeting. A lot of them are duplicates. A lot of them maybe are not eligible. A lot of them just don't work. And so out of those, like, I would say there's going to be a core group of them that we can probably use as a way to, to talk about whittling this down to 5. So, are we supposed um, to mark on this spreadsheet? It's yours. Do it. Well, I, I mean, yeah. if you print it out, oh, I see you don't do that, but I do. Yeah, if you print it out, mark it. But okay, but yeah. it doesn't show up on the. Oh no, on this. it's not shared. Yeah. Very good. Thank yeah. you. That's an excellent question. Mr. Chair. Yeah. Provided the comment you made earlier with the 17, I will send that out in a spreadsheet so that notes can be made. Cool. On the spreadsheet itself, rather than a PDF. That's wonderful. Thank now, you. wait a minute. I can't. I can't print a, P, a spreadsheet. It doesn't. It's for the 17. Yeah, um, I will modify it and and make sure that it is. I can even include a PDF direct for you, but I'm Thank happy you. to do both. Uh -huh. Thank you. Great. Perfect. Thank you for being so amenable, Cindy. Cindy Lou. All right. Uh, can I ask an embarrassing question? I'm so sorry. So looking at this long spreadsheet, all the ones that say blank in parentheses, city council districts blank, those are people who just opened it up and didn't finish it or they used the blank one yeah. and didn't start with the existing. Right. Cause some of them I'm opening and I'm like, there's nothing here. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah not necessarily. If they didn't rename it after they opened it, it's just gonna have that city council blank. Or, you know, whatever. Probably many that I tried that then went away before I could identify them. <laughs> yeah, if you see my name on there, they're all junk. So don't get just delete those rows right away. <laughs> no, I've, I've liked this thoroughly. All right, now, now to everybody's favorite part. Um, anybody want to stay longer? That was a weird question, a weird, weird way to ask it. All right, let's go ahead and adjourn. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Eric. Bye-bye. Oh, I need to know how to get to this meeting on time. 
before I leave, Ben.